There are a variety of reasons and depending on which members you ask, they can tell them to you. But fundamentally, the delays in the delivery of decisions is the cornerstone of those reasons. And just to put what we're concerned about in perspective, I think it's important that everybody knows that the Caribbean Court of Justice has considered the issue of delays in delivery of decisions and has opined, given the opinion that decisions ought to be rendered within three months of a decision being reserved in the usual case and within six months of the decision being reserved in exceptional cases. With regard to Mr. Justice Awich, we have a long line of cases um, involving delays that go up to 56, 60 months. Um, I have a list here that was compiled back in 2009 um, showing some 15 of such decisions at the time. And just to give you an idea of what we're dealing with, um, without calling any names, We have, for instance, the first case here, four years, two months delay. Second case, two years, 11 months delay. Third case, two years, seven months delay. Fourth case, one year, 10 months delay. Fifth case, eight months delay. Sixth case, 20 months delay. Seventh case, where am I? Six, seventh case, 48 months delay. Eighth case, three years, six months delay. Ninth case, three years, six months delay. Tenth case, 56 months delay. 